we'll go e4 in this game. Either he's not ready or he's doing the old gambit of uh, waiting a little, waiting a little, and then then making his first move. No, Abdul Sattar is not is not playing. So there are there are a lot of uh, strong grandmasters, but I think Nial is the strongest. So I think I'm gonna go for another sort of closed closed uh, Ru Lopez here, as I had against uh, Jamchaya Abdul Malik earlier. And uh, so I call this closed, while others like after castles, um, castles or um, castles ninety four and so on, the game would be sort of more more open. This is a little bit of a weird way to play as white, but I think it's been pretty popular recently. Um, we're trying to develop a little bit more actively with c4 and knight c3. What should I do after knight d7? Hmm, I don't know. Let's go bishop e3. Knight d4, I think I'll take. I think I'll take and take on d7. Otherwise, my bishop could be really poor. And uh, here I was hoping... I just missed CB2. How could I miss that? It's, it's like the easiest move anybody's ever missed in the history of missing moves. I would say that not only verges of on being embarrassing, that is actually embarrassing. But never mind, we'll try and save it. At least there are some scenarios here where my knight could be stronger than this bishop, which is kind of hemmed in by this pawn on d4. This could be fine. But like objectively only in terms of saving saving the game. To to win from this position would be would be a tough ask, even in blitz. But I'll try of course. And uh, he's spending Oh boy. <laughs> I missed this as well. Okay, now I'm probably just losing. Okay, this has been a, uh, a really an embarrassing game. If I'm not losing here, there's pretty much no skill involved in that. That's just luck. Because I hadn't seen any of this. Just pure disgusting luck. Bishop e5, I guess. Rook d1. Rook c8, maybe. Looks suspicious, to say the least. Yeah, he's he's ambitious. He's not gonna go for the draw that easily. Yeah, rook b1, the problem was queen h2 and then d3. I think that that was just losing on the spot. And yeah, I was really worried about um, rook c8. I'm probably just losing now. Queen b3, there's rook c3. Nothing to be done there. Do I have anything else than queen d7? Probably not. I think anything wins here. Rook c3 or... Yeah, rook c3, queen g4 is maybe not so clear. Maybe rook c2 is the cleanest. Queen g3 is a decisive threat. Can I do anything at all here? I don't think I can. Queen g3 and queen h2 are threats. Queen King f1, queen f3. That's game over. Okay, I have to try and hustle him. Every day I'm hustling. Um, I'm not going to be successful here, I think. Let's hope he's going to be slow today. But it doesn't seem very likely. Oh, he gave up a pawn. Trying to be as annoying as possible. Oh, <laughs> tricky move. Okay, let's let's see him try and... Oh, rook e7 is not even uh, still my trick there. Okay. Oh, and then I pre-moved myself out of it. Okay. Good game. Good game, Neil. <laughs>